The posterior superior alveolar, or PSA, is a nerve block injection that anesthetizes the pulpal and osseous tissues, periodontal ligaments, buccal gingiva, and adjacent vestibular mucosa of the first, second, and third maxillary molars. In some patients, the mesial buccal root of the first molar will not be anesthetized with the PSA injection and will require an infiltration over the mesial buccal root of the first molar in addition to the PSA. Locate and palpate the landmarks for this injection, which are the depression posterior to the zygomatic process, the maxillary tuberosity, the apices of the second molar, and the mucobuccal fold in that area. Visually inspect the mid-sagittal plane of the skull and the maxillary occlusal plane. Because of the proximity to the venous plexus and therefore high risk of hematoma associated with this injection, careful palpation is important. Place topical at the height of the mucobuccal fold over the distal portion of the second molar or at the end of the zygomatic arch, which you should be able to feel with your finger up in the vestibule, whichever landmark is more distal. A 27 gauge short needle is recommended for this injection. Some clinicians prefer to use a long needle. The penetration site is distal to the zygomatic process at the height of the mucobuccal fold above the distal buccal root of the maxillary second molar. To gain access to the site of the penetration, retract the lip outward and upward. Be sure that the penetration site is not too medial or you will contact bone. Bone should not be contacted at any time with this injection. The pathway of the needle is at a 45 degree angle to the occlusal plane and a 45 degree angle to the mid-sagittal plane of the maxillary molars. To achieve this, the barrel of the syringe must be angled downward from the occlusal table and outward from the patient's mid-sagittal plane. You can see that this places the barrel of the syringe over in the corner of the mouth and at about the same angle as the corner of the patient's nose. The depth of insertion is approximately 16 millimeters. This will place the tip of the needle in the area of the PSA foramina which is the terminal deposition site for this injection. For patients with a high maxilla, insertion of the needle may need to be slightly deeper. For a low maxilla, insertion will be slightly less. Aspiration should occur on more than one plane during this injection to be sure that you are not intravascular. Rotate the syringe barrel slightly away from you to change the direction of the bevel between aspirations. Approximately one half to one cartridge of anesthetic is deposited depending on patient factors and the treatment planned. Following deposition of the solution, gently remove the needle and make the needle safe. Good tissue retraction is critical to achieving the proper angulation for this injection. For maximum visibility, have the patient jut his or her jaw toward the side of the injection as the cheek is swept upward and outward in retraction. Do not retract just from the corner of the mouth. A possible complication with this injection is inserting the needle too deep, which increases the chance of a hematoma. It is important to evaluate the size of the patient's skull prior to administering this injection. Although a long needle may be successfully used by inserting approximately one half the length, a short needle is recommended to avoid the risk of over-inserting. The PSA injection may be contraindicated in patients with clotting disorders or on anticoagulant therapy. Alternative techniques such as multiple infiltrations are preferred rather than a PSA in these instances.